So I've been sent this question to have a go at. It's part four of a bigger question, but this is the information that we need for this particular part. So we've got a complex number minus two plus i is denoted by u. So there's our starting point. We're going to sketch an argon diagram showing the point representing u first of all. So we'll just put our axes in and then mark in where minus 2 plus i is for u. So we've got minus 2 plus i is just here. We'll give that a little label of u. Then we are asked to shade the region that satisfies uh, these things down here. So let's take these one at a time. Let's first of all look at this bit here of the modulus of z is less than the modulus of z minus 2. Now, I always think about this as z is some kind of point, and you can kind of think about it as vectors, um, and the distance away it is from the number that we've been given. So like this bit on this side is saying that z is um, a certain distance away from 2. So z can be any way you like. The modulus of z minus 2 will give you the length of how far away z is from 2. So then if we go to this one, this is the same as z minus 0. So it's telling us how far away from 0 it is. So what this um, inequality is showing us is that the distance that z is from 0 will always be less than the distance z is from 2. So we're going to have a dividing line between those two values of 0 and 2, and everything needs to be closer to 0 than it is to 2. So we'll have a perpendicular bisector between 0 and 2. So of course, that means a straight line through 1. Now, since our inequality is strictly less than and not equal to, I'm going to do that as a dotted line. So we can't be on the 1. We have to be everything to the left-hand side of 1. So it will end up being everything on this side. I'm not going to shade it properly just yet, but it will be this side of, of that one. We've got some other things to consider, so I'm just going to remove that for now. Okay, so if we look at the other side, we have that the argument of z minus u has to be between 0 and a quarter pi. Now, a quarter pi is 45 degrees, so we'll be looking for the 45 degree angle line. Z minus mu means everything from u to z um, is going to have an angle of between 0 and 45 degrees. So that means if we start at u and we draw the horizontal from u, because we always measure our argument from the horizontal line, if we start at u and we go in the direction of z, it will make a maximum of 45 degrees. So here's our 45 degree line. So z has to be somewhere between these two lines for us to get that angle uh, of the argument from u to z of being between 0 and 45 degrees. So now we can do our shading in. It's got to be between those two lines and left of the green one. So the shaded region we're looking for is this triangular piece here.